Hello. Hello. How are we Hello. doing? Hey, everyone. <laughs> hey. How you guys doing? I'm Hi. doing well. I'm doing, doing good. Well. I'm doing love splendidly. Hey, <laughs> lockdown this week. Any highlights? Yeah. Lowlights? Woo! Um, that's a great question. My highlight of lockdown has been I've been doing um, workout, like group workout classes over Zoom with some uh, friends, which has been a lot of fun. So that's my highlight. Nice. My low light has been. I don't really have one. Oh. I don't mind lockdown, which I don't know if I should say out loud, but I don't mind it. I really don't mind it either, but I'm an introvert, and so it's like, oh, yeah, so... It's quiet. There's no one to talk to. So... My low light is that I can't be at live youth this week. Oh, yeah. oh well, that mean, yeah. oh. Well, I don't say that. Oh, nice you. <laughs> You're the best youth pastor. You're a suck up, James. You're the best youth pastor. <laughs> It's official. Yeah. Ormo have the best youth pasta. <laughs> wow. Highlight is that I got to celebrate my daughter's first birthday yesterday as well. Oh, so that was lots of fun. Oh, sweet. Bless. So I can't you. ride a bike. It's so embarrassing. Oh. <laughs> On her How first old is she birthday. One? <laughs> but she can't ride a yeah, bike. One. Yeah, oh, I don't know shame. what to do about that. How about a skateboard? No. Nah. Oh, that's that's too dangerous, Cherith. I don't know. I reckon Jess can uh, teach us some tricks. <laughs> Absolutely. Are you good at skateboarding, Jess? Um, I like skateboarding. I'm not the greatest at it. Can you do a kickflip? No. Oh. Can't. See, I'm not the greatest. I told you. Oh. Told you. But hey, I've been watching the Olympics. Week. I've been watching the Olympics, which is probably yes. the biggest highlight mm. for me. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Been pretty good. But it's skateboarding's first time in the Olympics. This it was is. so cool. Yeah. Yes. And the BMX, oh my gosh, they were flying. Yeah. They yeah. were. So anyway, let they us were. in the chat what your highlights and lowlights of lockdown have been so far. Yeah. And hopefully we're getting lots of highlights, not Yeah, highlights. hopefully lots of highlights. Yeah. Not highlights. <laughs> yeah. And then I think it's time for a game, is that right? Yeah. Yes. I got a game, let's, let's go people. I just dropped right. my phone. Oh, All right. Yeah. I think they should probably let us know in the chat who's going to win the oh. game and why it's Ben. <laughs> ah. I think we're going to have to restart. You can see it. Okay, oh, there, there we go. There yeah. we go. Woo. Woo. Game using trivia time. Getting oh, ready. Yeah. Are you ready to so play the rules? trivia people? Well, wait, Cherith, you're getting ahead of yourself. Aren't okay, the rules just sorry. get the answer right? I'm pretty sure that's how the game works. This is the mechanic oh section. Okay. Oh, you can't see. Guys, I'm so happy for Canva. This guy, this game has one round. Each question only has one correct answer. Participants are not allowed to use outside help of any kind. The quiz master's decisions are final. Have fun. Gosh, I'm stressed already. Yeah. It's Except quiz master being you, Hannah. There's so many rules. Guys, one of what the rules What does outside is help mean? Like, As if in they're like inside the room, can they help? You're gonna go have to ask your daughter, Jimmy. No, you can't. You can't. Um... Jess, she's one. Come on, Jess. Don't be ridiculous. You Wait. can't Google it or anything like that. You have to. Um, you have to answer just. Can I Siri brain. it? No, no Siri. Just right, your let's brain. Go. Um, also, I made a mistake in the rules. For one. Don't well, have fun. <laughs> there is one question that has two right answers. Okay. Ooh, is it a trick oh question? Gosh. Can you tell us which one is the one that has the two right answers? Um, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Round let's go. one. I don't know whether this will work, but let's try. Woo yes or no? You're keen for this game of trivia. Are we ready? Is, is, is this the two correct answers or one? This is the one. I'll tell you. My in pen doesn't chat, work, so that's a good yes. start. Ooh. In the chat, guys, why don't you put your answers as well? You're, everyone's playing trivia with us. So Are our answers going to be mirrored? <laughs> oh, mine's backwards. No, yours is fine. It's oh, fine. Mine is mine fine? Yeah, no, mine's fine. not. I'll just write backwards. No, it looks Jess, fine yours from is, this side, Jess, Jared. yours is wrong. Jared, is yours it? looks right to me. Jared, yeah, yours it's... says CA. I can't even see it. So, yeah. Yeah, Cher, it's right normally. You can see it normally. So, is this normal or not? No. That's reverse. Oh. That's backwards. Huh. 
That's not. No. Yeah. Oh, my, yeah. video, my video is mirrored to me, not to you. Okay, good. Mine's all right. Sorry, I get it, but like, everyone's in the, the correct answer is yes. I'm yes. on one. Yes, come on. That was the longest first round of the simplest question I've ever done in Well, be trivia. quick as Game Master, be okay. quicker. Okay, come on. True or yeah. false, the breads are made of cardboard in the Olympic Village. Oh, the first I part is Olympic, <laughs> Olympic themes. Oh, uh, Jess, oh. Jess doesn't have an answer. True. Unfortunately. I Jess do. Wrote, I'm getting I confused can't... with this mirroredness. True. No can worries. you even? Can you read mine? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay. Right. True or false? The answer is true. They're Come trying on. to be more sustainable. I've got Good two. Good job, everyone. Well done. All right. Multiple choice. How many Olympic medals does Emma McKeon now have? Seven, nine, eleven, or thirteen? Did oh, you write no. true again, Jess? No. My screen. <laughs> I wrote nine, which is. Oh, wait, I didn't there. actually. And I'm supposed to write. Okay, sorry. I wrote the letter. I wrote the number. Jimmy? Number nine. You... All right, the answer is so we have two B's and two C's. The answer is 11 uh... all together. Woohoo! <laughs> it kind of looks like a C. You're joking. It was a trick. Hey, I Dad. need to contest that because she took a photo with all her medals and there was oh. only nine on her. But yes. Jess, you forgot about the previous Olympics she's been yes. in this pool. And it was only <laughs> seven this Olympics as well. All right, it was only let's seven. keep it encouraging. That is correct. <laughs> I did all Olympic medals. Uh, she won nine. Oh. Seven yeah. this Olympics, four previously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, so satisfying all to right. be Jess. I think we can do maths today. <laughs> Tons of these materials were donated and recycled to make the Olympic Ooh. gold medals. Oh, I know this one. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, this is totally a guess. This one oh. has two answers right. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, um, um, I've said C and A. A and C. Yeah, I did the same. C. Jess? But did you put Jess? I did B and A. B and A. Just to be bah. different, ready? Yes, I come on. A and C, well done. Yeah. Jess, you got it wrong again. <laughs> I got one right, okay? Technically, Good job, Jess. You, is you it only... half a point. Nah, there's no half, half points, half right, point. Jess? That's Anna? one okay, point. Okay, so zero points. <laughs> only full numbers. Did, did any of you get, get that right? Monster? Hannah, can you just help us out here? Well, technically, guys in the chat, did you guys get that right? <laughs> it's pretty. It was pretty cool. Heaps of people um, donated all their phones and laptops, and they melted it down to make the Olympic medals. How cool is that? that is I'm cool. glad we don't have any competitive people in this <laughs> right now. <laughs> all right. Yes or no? The Olympic rings are in this order: oh. blue, oh. black, yellow, green, and red. No outside help. Um, I, have, I have faith in you, Hannah. <laughs> that you're not a deceiver. Oh. What did you write, Jess? Yes. Everyone wrote yes except Cherith. We went no. Which oh, friend is wrong? Oh, no. That was tricky. Yay. Oh. <laughs> that was a All guess. Right. I don't remember. Oh. I switched to a round to be tricky. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> now. Ooh, okay. Does Ben make the basketball shot? Let's see if this. I can already is. tell you what the answer is. Oh. Play from 437. All right. Oh, I remember all those. <gasps> That's up in the <laughs> All right. <laughs> Does Ben make this well shot? Well done, Brandon. I know you tried to put a comb in your beard and you failed. That's my guess. I didn't actually see it, but I presume you failed. Good luck, though. Well done on everything else. Give Brandon some feedback in the comments. Guess what I'm about to do? That's right. A basketball <laughs> from the top of the terrace stairs all the way into that green box down there. They call this the five-point shot. They're bringing it into the NBA next season. Does he make the <laughs> shot? Oh, wow. <laughs> yes or no? I can't wait for you to be wrong, Jess. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And you failed. That's my guess. I didn't actually see it, but I presume you failed. Good luck, though. Oh, well man. Done. The commentary is top notch. Oh, oh. oh. Unlucky. No. I don't know. 
All right. That's so close. So what's Number the order? Cherith, Ben, James, and Jess. Yeah. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did I get Jess. on the bottom? That's you, the you got two oh, wrong. questions wrong. Three wrong. You got three wrong. You In got the more chat, wrong than you got right. Wait, you're at how many of you got correct, how many not? Uh-huh. In the chat, they're putting how many of they got right. I'm all right. put in the chat that I got them all right. <laughs> in the chat, put down, does Ben make this card shot? Right. I'm going to take a card. I feel like I'm remembering this. Between these two poles, and I'm going to get it in the bin. Okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Are does we answering this? make this, this shot? Answer um, yes or no. Did he get any of them? <laughs> Can we answer whether we like him with a moustache or without a moustache next? <laughs> that should be one of the questions. I'm down right. for that. Ready? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was an absolute failure. But it's authentic, and that's what makes a trick shot count. Back to our next no. competitor. <laughs> <laughs> you can jump. Me, but it's authentic. <laughs> man. All right. What a hot man. What a hot that. man. <laughs> All right, last one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> why, why is this all me? Because it's good flashbacks from the past. I was reliving the the almost glory days. Definitely, and gives us something to do during lockdown if we're like totally bored and can't yeah. remember. What to do. You can try you can your own tricks. Yeah. You can go back and look at all of our lockdown um, Friday night youths on our Insta. Oh, not our Instagram, YouTube. YouTube, <laughs> do it. Oh. Yeah. Shameless Let's plug. Go. All right, does Ben make this ball, make the ball through the car shot, yes or no? Let's... And I'm going to get it in the bin. <laughs> She's going to drive slowly. I'm going to throw this ball through both back. How are you going to drive? I'm going. Yeah, she was actually. All right, yes or no? Does he make the shot? Does Ben look creepy much faith in that you, still? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Did you say yes, Jess? Thanks no. for the faith. James, your <laughs> answer keeps dropping out. I can't I, see what you're saying. I'd say definitely no, but it's like an <laughs> invisible thing. I feel like All right. I, I feel like you could have made yeah. it. Does have you, everyone I reckon you make their... it through one window, but not the other. That's my guess. Oh. Has everyone got their thing? Wow, well, thanks chat? for the faith. Put it in. All right, ready? It's going to be amazing. Go, Hannah. Yep. This is amazing <laughs> driving, by the way. Oh, I didn't know you were going this slow. Oh! oh! <laughs> so close. That was going to break the world. I don't even know the internet. But anyway, I, is there another competitor or not? If not, follow me up. If there is, go to them. <laughs> this this is so well rehearsed. I love it. Very <laughs> oh, good. Oh, oh hey, James. Are we going to watch the rest of this clip? Because James does a pretty good job of this one. I'm really disappointed that he's practiced so much. Gosh, look at his setup. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> he tried like three times. It was and then so he's like, annoying. I, he's like, I got it in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's the end. Is it? That's oh, the well end. Done. I got seven out of eight. Oh, that was really good. Well done. I think yeah, eight, eight out of eight. eight. I think Cherith yeah, got all of them. I got 100%. six out of eight. Jess got like two out of eight. <laughs> no way. I got two wrong. You got three wrong. No, you got three wrong. Oh, wow. It's not like we're keeping tally or anything. I <laughs> definitely need you to say that. I lost, all right? I can but take I think that. It, I think we might make that seven two, Jess. No. So, no. Anyway, in saying that, in saying that, the last challenge we are, have been invited into this feud that has been going on between Ben and Jess for how many months? Eternity. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Probably just we close. have an athletic challenge going on at Gateway between the Mackenzie Youth Pastor and the Redlands Youth Pastor Ben Dayton and Ooh, Jessica woo. Baisley. And today we're going to add another tally to their score. I've asked if they can both get something from their pantry. And at the same time, they're going to throw it in the air and try and catch it in their mouths. One looks definitely healthy. Yeah, that's for sure. That's why I'm winning. 
Um, so you get five throws, and whoever gets the most, like, the most amount of catches in those uh, five throws, um, gets another tally on their their thing. What well, at the moment? Who's in the lead? I'm yeah. winning six two. Oof. Ooh. It's not, is it six two? Yeah, it's six two. Because you lost to me at table tennis again the other day. Alrighty, skated the other day. Was that five table. throws? Five throws, and whoever gets the most, if you get all five, then you both get a score added. But if you, whoever gets the most, then they get to add a score. All right. Yeah, gotcha. Let's do this. Yes. We go one do at them a time. on. Who do you think's going to win? You both go at the same time. Yeah, okay. put in the chat who you think's going to win. Cheer for them. Give them all Woo! the, give them all the clapping emojis like this. Woo! All right, ready? Yeah. In three. Two, one, go. Oh, damn it. Oh, one nil to Jess. Two. Damn it. Two. Oh, three. Uh, got one. Oh. Is that this three is one? Two. One. Oh. One. Three, three one? This is oh, the two fourth one. throw. Oh, oh four oh, one. Yes. Four two. Oh, four. Five. This is the final throw. Oh, Jessica. Woo. I got yeah. one more. <laughs> <laughs> is that all five, Jess? He really doesn't like Mandarin. Is that five? Four. Did you miss one? I did miss one. Oh, okay. you beat me because this is for three. Oh, Jessica oh. is the Woo. winner. Woo. So now it's six three. The oh. feud will continue. <laughs> Those so mandarins much. do not look good, Ben. No, yeah, they are, but I don't like the texture of them in my mouth. <laughs> I don't eat them, they're Rachel's, but I didn't want to try and catch a banana in my mouth. <laughs> oh, hey. all right. Well done. <clears throat> yeah. Good work, everyone. Yeah. And that's the end of the fun section. Are you saying the rest of it won't be fun? <laughs> no. Hannah, or what, what are you talking about? I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Savage. We're not going to throw to Jimmy, who's got some great worship for us, because let's do some worshiping. Hold on, I'm just tangled. Give me a few seconds. Uh, there we okay. go. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna do some worship in just a moment. Um, a song called "Battle Belongs." I really love this song. When I think about it, it reminds me of this story in Two Chronicles, where th where there's this huge army amassing against um, Judah or the people of God, and and God says to these people through one of the prophets, "Don't be afraid, for this is not your battle; it is the Lord's." And so I know. Are you all right, Jess? Sorry, I'm just laughing at Ben. <laughs> it's really hard. I'm sorry. That's all good. good. Um, the battle is the Lord's and I'm just, it's my prayer for each of you right now, no matter what lockdown is looking like for you. Maybe you're having a ball just being at home playing heaps of video games or maybe you're um, missing out on spending time with friends. But I just want to encourage you that the battle is the Lord's. It's not something that you got to do on your own strength. Instead, we can just stand firm in our hope in, in the victory that is already won through Jesus. And so I'm going to play some nice pads for us. And I'm going to sing this song for us as well. Don't feel like um, you've got to sing along out loud because I know that could be weird. But just allow these lyrics to wash over you as you just remember that the victory is already won through Jesus. And if you are 
Let me pray into that. Uh, Lord, I thank you that the battle does belong to you. Lord, I know that uh, this week hasn't been what we all expected it would be, but Lord, whatever we are facing, thank you that we can just lift our hands up to you and trust that you um, will just fight those battles alongside us, that you have so much power, power over our own fears and all the, the doubts or something we might have inside of ourselves, but also power over the relationships, the friendships and everything we have. Lord, I pray that we would remember to take everything to you, that you care about the highlights, the lowlights, everything that we're facing, everything we're struggling with, everything we're also excited about that's happening in our life. Lord, thank you that you are so present, that you, you are so uh, just, you delight in us so much that you want to be there for us, that you want to fight those battles. And God, just thank you for giving us the strength to stand when we need to stand, but also to be able to just let us sit and trust that you've got it all in control. Lord, I thank you also for the word that Jess is about to bring to us tonight. Lord, I uh, pray for her as she uh, yeah, just shares the word you put in her heart to encourage all of us tonight. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Jess. All righty. Thanks, Jimmy. That was awesome. Um, well, what I said before is through, I think through lockdown, the Olympics has definitely uh, got me through um, and I've loved watching the Olympics. I've loved swimming, athletics uh, and um, yeah, gymnastics as well. I think it's all been elite and I think each athlete has been insanely impressive. Um, and I don't know about you, but Olympics has definitely got me through um, lockdown currently and um, I want to actually talk to you guys just about a, um, yes, a Toko flag. Um, it's been great. Anyway, I want to talk to you guys about um, a girl named Sydney McLaughlin. I came across her. Uh, she's not an Aussie competitor. She's from um, America. But um, I was watching her compete in the 400-meter hurdles in one of her heats, and I was extremely impressed uh, with, one, how she ran, uh, and I was just impressed of her humbleness in how she finished 
and crossed over the line and she congratulated everyone and she literally crossed over the line like she didn't really look like she broke out in a sweat like she looked like she did it very very easily and anyway I was really impressed with her and then I ended up actually coming across her uh, Sydney McLaughlin on Instagram and I saw she was a Christian and I uh, went in and I did a bit more um, research about her and I followed her journey uh, for in the races for the last couple of days. And yesterday she actually ended up winning the gold 400 metre hurdles and ended up uh, getting a world record as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and I found out that um, through her journey to the Olympics, the prep, uh, it wasn't the easiest for her. She uh, had a lot of injuries and she didn't know if she would be able to perform uh, but she ended up obviously performing winning gold as well as a world record which is pretty awesome uh, and um, she posted actually a verse on her Instagram story which I um, really really liked and I really wanted to, to share it with you guys and it's Matthew 23 12 and it says but those who exalt themselves will be humble and those who humble themselves will be exalted let me repeat that. But those who exalt themselves will be humble and those who humble themselves will be exalted. You see, in this message, it's a pretty simple message. And uh, we can, the cool thing is with this message, we can actually use it every single day uh, in everyday life and in every stage or situation of our life. And you see, for Sydney, who won the 400 metre hurdles and a world record at the Olympics, um, I could not imagine the high pressure of what she was going through and what uh, was involved and what the competition entails. I couldn't even imagine. But it is such so cool that um, it is a reminder for her to be humble and to humble herself through uh, the 400 metre hurdles. And you can see her humbleness when she crosses over that finish line. Uh, you can see how she carries herself after the race and just how she uh, connected with all the other athletes, but also showed her humbleness uh, through that. And even though we can see her humbleness in the athletics, I want to encourage you guys that this verse can actually be for anyone and particularly for us right now in this little time of testing with lockdown. You see, I think that this verse, but those who exalt themselves will be humbled and those who humble themselves will be exalted. It is actually a reminder of hope and having hope of being humble. And for us in lockdown and for Sydney in the Olympics, it's so easy for us to try and take control of the situations that we are get into. And for Sydney, she could have taken control herself in that race. She could have had taken control and not worried about her coach or not worried about the training that she prepared. Or she could have just put aside Jesus and said, you know what, I'm just going to do it for myself. I'll be right. It's all good. But instead, you can see her humbleness on the track and for us we can actually complain about being in lockdown we can complain about having to wear masks we can complain about oh there's like three more days of lockdown this is so frustrating or we could complain about online schooling or for some of us like Ben said we could be loving lockdown and really enjoying it but still we could be trying to get it all together before lockdown finishes and we want to do a few things before we're out of lockdown so that when our words become busy again, we aren't able to finish those things that we wanted to. And you see, when we try and take control in our own strength, as it's as soon as we are tested. We try and take control of our own strength as soon as we are tested. So today, I want us to be reminded that this verse today, it is powerful, that humbling ourselves before the Lord provides us actually with not only peace, but hope for the situation that we're currently in. So let's humble ourselves before the Lord and fix our eyes on Jesus. Because when we find hope, we need to stay humble to find that. Let's pray, guys. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you uh, for Jesus, Lord. We thank you for Jesus who died on the cross for us and that we can have a relationship with you. May we choose to be humble in every situation that we're going through. You know, lockdown comes and um, lockdown goes, but everything in life 
comes and goes, but the one thing that remains is the glory of God, and that is eternal, Lord. We thank you that uh, we can have a relationship with you, knowing uh, that you can guide us in every situation. Let us not forget this in this current time, Lord. We pray in your mighty and precious name. Amen. 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 Awesome. Thank you so much, Jess. That was great. That was great. And uh, it's been awesome to be able to connect with you guys, the youth pastors, but also the youth in the in the chat and with your leaders. It's been a, a whole lot of fun. We hope you've enjoyed the trivia, a little bit of worship and a message from uh, from Jess. But we're going to jump into Zoom life groups now. So you should have hopefully received an email uh, during the week um, with a link to the Zoom meeting. But if not, there's going to be something in the chat that you can just click on and it should be able to take you there. And you'll be able to meet with your life group leaders and ha- hang out for, you know, like half an hour or so, uh, which will be a lot of fun. And uh, hopefully... Fingers crossed. We'll be seeing you guys in person next week. But um, if not, keep an eye out and we'll, uh, we'll be in touch with what, the, what next week looks like as well. So have a great week. Enjoy awesome. the rest of lockdown and hopefully we'll see you next week. If not, we'll catch you in Zoom in like two minutes. Awesome. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. See you on Zoom.